Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a foundation review. Now it has been over two long freaking years since I have done like a dedicated foundation review video. Now I do have quite a few foundations, uh, which is high end, very affordable and mid range as well. And I will be uploading videos on a weekly basis, just testing out different foundations. So stay tuned for that. Now for today's video, I am going to be testing out is the Blue Heaven Hyper Matte Foundation. Now this is in the shade 302 Honey Tan. Now for other foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. So if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right into the video. quickly go over with the features of this foundation and now it claims to have a hydrating base non pore clogging buildable coverage natural matte finish and a lightweight formula now it does also have spf 25 pa plus plus which is a great addition these are priced at 200 rupees for 30 ml of product and they offer only seven shades and now let's finally move on to the application okay so i have zoomed you guys in my hair is pinned back and i'm just going to quickly blot my face this is what i always do before i apply any foundation because i have super oily skin so much of oil already and um, yeah like my usual foundation reviews i'm not going to add any primer or setting spray just to test and see how long the foundation lasts on my oily skin without any help at all so it is quite thick uh, what i'm going to do is this side i'm going to use a sponge and this side a brush so i'm going to quickly take some products I really hope this matches my skin because this is the first time I'm using it. Oh, and if I have any breakouts or anything, I will probably add it as a comment and pin it down below. This has also dried pretty quickly. Okay, so as you guys can see, it has mattified my skin. It does dry pretty quickly, so you have to work a bit fast. And uh, this is without foundation? With foundation. So moving on to this side. It has given a lot more coverage on this side using the brush. I honestly really like the foundation, like the way how it looks because it has given such a nice soft matte sort of a finish. So first impression wise, I am blown away. It is good, but yeah, let's see how it goes throughout the day. So I'm just adding a little bit of concealer and uh, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the time right now is 10.20 a.m. and uh, yeah. Now for the loose powder I'm going to use is the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect Loose Powder. So I have just set it and with whatever is left in the powder puff, I'm just going to use that all over my face. Now for the blush, I'm going to go for a matte one and I am going to use the Balm in Stain. Now this is in the shade, uh, I don't know, I will add it down below somewhere here. So for contouring, I'm going to do it only for my nose and I'm going to skip on my cheeks, forehead, jawline and stuff. I 
And of course, I'm going to skip on the highlighter as well. I just have to apply my lipstick and we are done. Okay, so I have a super zoomed you guys in and this is how the foundation looks like. Now, I am blown away because of how good this foundation looks on my skin and the shade match is not that bad at all. I'm just hoping it doesn't oxidize too much or anything of that sort. Now, I am going to add a video taken on my phone camera so you can see how it looks as well. Now, I do have to film another lip swatch video. So, FII, there may be a little bit of foundation missing off of my lip area. Maybe, maybe not. I'll try to be careful. But, yeah. So I'll see you guys in some time for my first check-in. Hey guys, so this is the first check-in. So the time right now is about 2.03 p.m. And uh, it has been about three and a half hours approximately since I last applied it. Uh, so this is how everything looks like. Now I can see some shine coming through which is on my cheek nose forehead a little bit on my chin as well but apart from that everything still looks pretty fine i can still see the blush there's no caking up or no separation or anything of that sort which is great so yeah i am gonna continue filming my other video and i will be back with my final thoughts hey guys i'm back and it is close to seven hours since i last applied my foundation and this is how oily and shiny i look like right now so the time right now is about 5 14 pm and uh, yeah I'm going to just quickly super zoom you guys in and show you how my face looks. By the way, I am trying to rush it a little bit because the sun is going to set anytime. And also, I'm sorry, there is a dog barking next door. So it is a bit loud. But yeah. Okay, so I have super zoomed you guys in. And this is how oily I look like right now. I am shiny through and through. There is not a single place that I'm not oily. Like even my eyebrows are like shiny that's how oily i am so yeah this is how everything looks like but one good thing is that there is no separation or anything it's just the oil that is coming through however there is a breakout over here the corner of my nose so it does look a little bit wonky over there wherein on the other side it is completely fine and there is no problem whatsoever so as per usual i'm going to use my trusty blotting sheet and just blot through my face Like, look at the difference how much a blotting sheet can make. And uh, one sheet is almost done. So, this is the amount of excess oil that had come through. But even after removing all that excess oil, my makeup still looks so fresh and it is sort of dewy because of the oil that already came through. But I really like how the foundation looks so far. So yeah, let's go over the formula, the pros and the cons. Okay, firstly about the consistency, it is quite a thick foundation. Like as soon as you pump it out, it is quite thick in consistency. But about the coverage, like if you use a brush to blend the foundation, then it will give you like a medium and you can build it up to a full coverage foundation. However, if you do use like a damp sponge, it will give you like a sheer to a medium coverage. Again, this is an extremely buildable foundation, so you can build it up. The third main point is that these do dry out pretty quick, so you have to work really fast when you are blending it on your face. So in the sponge side, I was trying to build it up, and even though I did that, it did not look cakey or heavy or anything of that sort. It did a great job in covering up the blemishes and some of the discoloration on my skin, especially around the cheek area. And it did a decent job in covering up my pores. Like so far, I did not have any issues with the pores I didn't feel like it was emphasizing it a lot so yeah that's great this foundation gives a beautiful semi matte finish because I noticed this when I applied the foundation on one side the other side was completely bare with no foundation so it was not like a flat matte finish and it also evened out my skin so which is great when I did the first check-in at that time the oil was coming through and especially on the high points of my face you can see a slight shine but overall it gave a nice dewy look it did not look cakey or it did not like build up or anything of that sorts 
Now, like I mentioned before, it does dry pretty quickly, so you have to work fast. But I was a little bit skeptical was when I was adding the concealer, if it will blend well with it, or when I was adding the blush, I was not so sure if it will blend well or will it be patchy or anything, but that did not happen at all. Everything blended seamlessly with the foundation as the base. Coming to the longevity of this foundation, I would say it lasted on my extremely oily skin for like about five hours, which is actually a good thing because I have so many high-end foundations where in, in two hours it will look like my face is like melting or something of that sort so this for that price of 200 rupees this is a great when it comes to longevity and lastly i love the fact that this foundation comes with a pump and it has a lock system as well which is amazing for 200 bucks so yeah now for the fii there's just three quick points the first point is that it does have fragrance in it so it does smell when you apply it if you have extremely sensitive skin i would highly recommend doing a patch test first just to see that you do not break out or anything of that sort so yeah first fii second point is that if you have dry skin you will have to apply a moisturizer before using this foundation now usually I do not comment about how a product works on a dry skin because I do not have it but then I have seen how this product settles and how it looks on my oily ass skin so I would highly recommend using a very good moisturizer that works for your skin if you have dry skin the last FII is actually a very teeny tiny point and uh, that is that in this pump make sure that you actually clean it pretty well after using it like wipe it with a wet wipe or any tissue or anything of that sort the reason I'm saying this is because since it's a very quick drying sort of a formula it will build up on the cap if, if you do not like wipe it after usage for example, this is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I got a pump for it but look how scrawny the pump looks. That's because my lazy ass did not clean it. So right now I cannot use the pump is because it's blocked, it's dried up and it's blocked. So that is really bad. I literally have to open up the pump and then use it. I do have to clean it. I'm just procrastinating. So yeah, just FYI, make sure that you are cleaning the pump properly <laughs> it sounds so weird and now for the cons there are three points the first point is that there are no arm swatches available online it's a foundation it's 2023 i really wish brands came out with just a normal arm swatch of the shades on a real person it would be really helpful for any consumer to buy rather than buying it and then thinking will this suit will that not suit or anything of that sort so yeah i wish there were arm swatches available online the second point is that this foundation does oxidize so make sure that you do choose wisely now just for an example i will insert a video of what exactly i'm talking about now the first line that you see on the left it is the foundation that was applied in the morning right after i applied foundation on my face so this is how much it oxidized compared to the newly applied foundation right next to it. So yeah, it does oxidize. Make sure that you do choose the colors wisely. For me, it did oxidize. Like I could find it in like one or two hour itself. It was oxidizing. I could see that. The last con is that I wish there were more than seven shades. Now the formula is actually really good, especially if you have oily skin and I wish they had more shades now to be fair this seven shades for an indian brand it is a pretty good the reason is because there are so many other brands that i've seen where they hardly come out with two or three shades for foundation just two or three but comparatively seven is a good number but i wish it was more so overall in my personal opinion the cons are not like a huge deal breaker for me and uh, i do love and recommend this foundation the formula is a plus plus especially if you have oily skin like combination skin it will work great for you if you have normal skin as well it will look amazing but make sure that you do prep your skin with a good moisturizer especially if you have dry skin now if you have combination or oily skin still do use a primer mattifying primer because that will help with the longevity of this foundation and for me like i said five hours is how long it took for the oil to completely come through it could even take like eight or nine hours if you use a good mattifying primer so yeah so yeah guys, these were my thoughts on the Blue Heaven Hyper Matte Foundation and it is perfect timing because the dog is barking quite a lot and the sun is also setting and this 
finally wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did then do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request i will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is ishnair on instagram and ishnair on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye